We know that the future value formula of simply interest is equivalent to principal multiplied by open bracket 1 plus simply in straight times time close bracket. How many variables do we have in this formula? We have four variables, future value, principal, simply in straight and time. Therefore, we can rearrange this formula into four different formulas. So this will be our first formula. Then our second formula, what if we would like to calculate the principal? So this means that we need to divide both sides by this bracket, which is one plus simply in straight times time. So we'll say that our principal is equivalent to future value divided by one plus simply in straight times time. And this will be our second formula. Our third formula will be calculate simply in straight or time. Therefore, we need first to get rid of P. Therefore, we need to divide both sides by P. So to be future value divided by principal is equivalent to one plus simply in straight plus time. Then we need to subtract one from both sides. So to be future value divided by principal minus one is equivalent to simply in straight times time. Therefore, based on this formula, if we would like to get simply in straight, we will divide the left part by T. And if we would like to get our time, we need to divide the left part by simply in straight. So let's calculate our simple in straight first. Our simple in straight is equivalent to future value divided by P minus one, all of this divided by time. And this would be our third formula. What if we would like to calculate time? So I will get future value divided by principal minus one, all of this divided by simple in straight, and this will be our fourth formula. Let's apply some examples of each formula. Marcus can purchase an iPhone on a two-year loan at 16% simple in straight per year. Calculate the future value of a 1000 loan. So let's get the variables we have in this question. We have time equal two years. We have simple in straight equal 16% per annum. We have a principal of $1,000. We need to calculate the future value. Remember, our time and interest must have the same time unit. Here, the time is in years and in straight is annual, which means in years. Therefore, we don't need to make any adjustment. So the formula of future value is equal to principal multiplied by one plus simple in straight times time. Future value equals $1,000, which is the principal multiplied by open bracket one plus simply in straight of 16% times time of two. This will give us a future value of 1320. Another example will be, you have been told that the maturity value of a treasury bill that matures in three months is $10,000. The simple interest rate offered by the treasury bill is 10% per annum. Calculate the principle of the investment. Let's get the variables that was mentioned in the case study. We have time is equal to three months. We have future value equal 10,000. We have simple interest rate of 10% per annum and we need to calculate the principle. Remember, time and interest must have the same time unit. Here, our interest is annual, is every year, but the time is in months. Therefore, we need to convert time to match the unit of the interest rate. Therefore, how many months do we have per year? 12. So let's say here three divided by 12 in order to be converted into years. Three divided by 12, it will give us 0 0.25 years. So this will be our time. So in order to calculate the principle, our formula is future value divided by one plus simply in straight times time. Therefore, our principle is equivalent to 10,000 divided by open bracket one plus 10% times three over 12. This will give us a principle of 9,756.10. Another example will be, Henry bought an antique watch for $6,000 and sold it nine months later for $6,360. What simple interest rate did he earn on this sale? Let's get the variables that was mentioned in the case study. So we have a principal of $6,000. We have time equal nine months. 
we have future value equals 6360, we need to calculate the simple in straight. Remember, time and simple in straight must have the same time unit. We know that usually the in straight is expressed as annual rate, therefore we need to convert time to be in two years. How many months do you have per year? 12. Therefore, it's equal to 9 divided by 12, which is equal to 0.75 years. So what will be the formula of the simple in straight? Our simple in straight is equivalent to future value divided by principal minus 1, all of these divided by time. Therefore, it's equal to 6360 divided by 6000 minus 1, all of these divided by 9 over 12. This will give us a simple in straight of 8% per annum. Let's have another example. Sandra wants to know how long in month it would take for her savings of $15,000 to grow to $16,050 if Commonwealth Bank offers her a simple interest rate of 14% per annum. Let's get the variable that was mentioned in our case study. So we have a principal of $15,000 we have future value of $16,050. We have simple interest rate of 14% per annum. We need to calculate time. Remember, interest and time must have the same time unit. So if our interest here is per annum, therefore, when we use our formula, we will get time as years. So our time is equivalent to future value divided by principal minus one, all of these divided by simple interest rate, which is equal to future value of 16,050 divided by principal of 15,000 minus 1, all of these divided by simple interest rate of 14%. This will give us a time equal to half year. So if we have half a year, in the question it was mentioned that how long in months? So to convert the time to be in months, we need to multiply it by 12. Therefore, our time will be half a year times 12, it will give us 6 months. 